Away from the music world now to the movie world. Messi Aigbe invites industry colleagues, actors and movie lovers for the screening of a self-produced film at Dao Modadi here in Lagos. Check it out. Nollywood actress Mercy Aigbo says her soon to be released film Ada Omodadi is aimed at unifying the Igbo and Yoruba culture, describing the film as one with family oriented story with major themes including love, unity, and reconciliation. It's a large scale film, it's a big project job, and first of all, financing it was not easy. You know, it wasn't easy to get people to you know put in their money and but eventually i got people so that's one of the challenges i faced but once i tell told my investor the story and he just bought into it because he knew that it's a story that would sell it's a story that everybody would um want to to identify with to relate with it's a story that would start a lot of conversation it's a story that happens every day every day but we're not talking loudly about it we're not talking enough about it so i can't wait i'm just very excited i can't wait for you all to see ada or modadi if you look at it very well it actually showcases old old nollywood and new nollywood if you see someone like charles or Kafo, who by the way has been absent from active acting for a while so this film is like a um, is come back to mainstream acting and I'm re I was really excited working with him because Uncle Charles, you know, used to be one of my favorite because I love the way he delivers his roles. And so when I told him about the story, his excitement, and then when he eventually came to set, and oh, well, let me not talk too much. You all need to see Charles Okafo in the film Adam Modadi. And then I had Sachiwe Talagu, which for me was a great honor working with him. I had oh, Auntie Shola. Auntie Shola is my mommy. Everybody knows that. So I had, had you know, Auntie Shola on set. I had um, Omo Omi Dada played the lead. And the choice of Omo Omi Dada for me, apart from her physical attributes, because, you know, cast, when you're casting, it has to, it has to be some sort of resemblance, synergy to, to other characters, especially when it comes to, like, parents and their offspring and all that so apart from that apart from that she has a little bit of resemblance to to uncle charles on mommy dada she's an amazing actress as in she killed it before now i'd seen her in some projects and then you know when I wanted to work on the story. Everybody was saying, Messi, play, play the role now, play the role now, play the role now. You know, play the and I'm like, I don't want to play the role, I want someone younger. But because that role is very dear to my heart, I want I want I want someone who would do great justice to it. One of the movie's co-executive producer, Kazim Adioti, says the movie is done on a big scale, shedding light on some of the major challenges he faced during production. And some of the uh, seasoned actors that we thought were going to give us issues uh, turned out to be, you know, very good, you know, support to us on set. Even before, during and after the set, uh, we realized that... Uh, they, they are very professional, they are very wonderful people, and they are still giving us the support and they even promise that, you know, I'll come uh, to uh, December 15th at the cinema, uh, they are still going to be giving us the kind of support we want from them. Former reality TV star and actor Taya Faniron says he had fun working with the team while playing the character Victor. The atmosphere was beautiful. It lays emphasis on the lessons viewers are likely to take home after watching the movie. Uh, this is my work, it's my job, so I actually don't talk about challenges. I don't see them as such. Um, I'm always ready to do whatever, to give whatever it takes, you know, for my work. Um, but I, I, I wouldn't say it was easy. I mean, there's nothing great is uh, achieved easily. You know, but because I love what I do, I had fun doing it. 
And I also thank the production team, especially the producer, uh, Messi Aigbe, her husband, uh, big brother, Kazim Adeoti. You know, they were amazing. They made sure we were okay, we were well taken care of. Um, they, they made us comfortable. You know, they treated us with love, respect. It was a beautiful atmosphere to work in. And so, yeah, so I can't, I didn't have any hard time doing this. Yeah. So the lessons for this, uh, from this movie, for the viewers, right, to pick from this, is that um, we all, you know, first of all, should live, live as one. That's one of the motives uh, behind this movie, you know, is to, you know, showcase the Yoruba culture, the Igbo culture, because, you know, when you talk about Nigeria, we're not complete, when you don't bring, you know, other regions, you know, into it. And uh, we all need synergy, you know, to live together. Even though there was a clash, there was drama between, you know, the Igbo side of the, you know, the, the, the story and the Yoruba side of the story. But eventually there was a place where we all found, you know, that love, you get what I'm saying, the bond and we were able to, to resolve things, you know, and that's how life should be about. That's how our country should be. That's what we need. No matter the differences of the past, you know, we need to find an amicable, you know, settlement, you know, where we all find a common ground and see ourselves as one before the tribe, before your Igbo, Hausa, uh, Yoruba, wherever you are. Uh, we are all humans, you know, and yeah, let love lead. Ada Omodadi is available in cinemas from the 15th of December, 2023.